This is Taiwan's luxury bus restaurant. Yeah, you heard that right. A restaurant inside a moving bus. Whilst we drive around the business district and Taipei's most notable landmark, Whoa. Whoa. we get to enjoy a delicious afternoon tea. Come on, you didn't think we weren't going to be eating sweet treats, did you? So this restaurant bus actually changes who it collabs with. Currently, it's with the Grand Hyatt here in Taipei. Last time we went on a bus restaurant, it was driving the whole time and there was a lady speaking over the mic throughout the whole hour, hour and a half that we were on the bus. Whole time. Oh, there it is. Really? Oh, there it is. Oh, let's go, quick. Oh, whoa. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. This bus is so nice. I think we're going to be quite comfortable here. It's really nice, isn't it? It's really, really bright. The last time we went, and we've only been on a bus restaurant once before, but I think because it was nighttime, it just felt a lot more enclosed. Yeah. I'm not sure if they had this awesome ceiling in the last one either. This one has a and yeah, the really. actual skylight. <laughs> it's really easy, breezy, bright and beautiful. <laughs> this bus runs three times a day, two o'clock, five o'clock, and one at 7.30. The only afternoon T1 is the one at two o'clock though, and that's the one we're on right now. I have to say that the seats are really comfortable. We're in a one-in-one -one, uh, seat, but there's also two and twos. So if you uh, group of four, you can sit together as well. It's actually laid out really nicely. You've got a pretty big table. There's a lot of distance between Dylan and I, and the booths are even bigger because they're quite wide. Then, apart from the pretty wide seat and the seat belt, there's this little contraption in the middle, and it's so smart because it means that you don't have to worry the whole time that your glasses are going to be toppling over because they're secured in this contraption. And then this anti-slip <laughs> rubber mat. The food will stay where you want the food to be. The treats this afternoon are inspired by a mixture of Taiwanese culture and the finest French and Italian imported ingredients. So it sounds like it's going to be a pretty delicious menu. This design is to allow the plant to receive the sound evenly. So it is a green building in Taipei. It's also the most expensive resident in Taipei. It's actually so cool to have a roof that's just glass because the buildings here in Taipei are green and tall. I'm really glad that we chose daytime for this trip because it means that we can see so much more than we could if it was nighttime. Even though it would all be lit up, you can see the whole Taipei 101 just there. Driving around feels pretty chill so far. Not that there's no traffic, but it's not block after block after block, so there's not a lot of starting and stopping. And we've been driving pretty slowly so far, so if I had to eat and drive around this speed, I think I'd be pretty comfortable. This afternoon tea consists of three savory dishes. To begin with, a baked veal also buko pie with honey mustard, a slow roasted spiced pork neck with peach and lettuce inside beet bread, and a fake fruit bread topped with Italian parma ham. Everyone's getting their food before me because I think I'm the only vegetarian. For the vegetarian option, instead of the parma ham, I've got an elderberry flavor marinated white radish on top of my fig bread, as well as replacing the spiced pork inside the beet bread with delicious wild mushrooms and then a creamy pine nut spinach pie with honey mustard to finish it off. <laughs> oh. That's so fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. You've got to get it out of its contraption. <laughs> yes. Beep. Beep. That's strong. That's good. But I have to say, my mom makes a better one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try the meat version. Yeah. Tastes quite lemony. I kind of wonder what was inside, but that was very nice. Yeah. Please return to your sit-ups and white glasses. It's quite a good sandwich. Yeah. to avoid uh, overturn. Don't like fresh things inside? I think you're the only person that always removes anything fresh. Lettuce, no. Tomato, no. Onion, no. Anything, no. Meat, hold <laughs> I put my seatbelt back on. Everyone's finished eating already. I don't even know how that happened. Feels less leisurely and more slightly rushed, but here we go. Mm. And then last but not least, one bite. Yeah. When we go hiking, Dadiana's mum in Switzerland, she makes me a sandwich with some cold cuts and um, that bread, that really dark bread. I'm on the better cheese. Nice days. Yeah. Mm. Oh, here we go. We're off again. I need to put my seatbelt on. Okay. 
10 minutes to eat all of that? They are just small foods. <laughs> they are small, but I like to savor my food. <laughs> I'm a very slow eater. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Once the tallest building in the world, the famous Taipei 101 is based on an enormous bamboo stalk reaching into the sky to connect heaven and earth, and incorporates many shapes of squares and circles to reach a balance between yin and yang. Thank you! Wow! It's so cute! Is that a dinosaur? Oh, yes! That is so cool! On earth, this is adorable! Oh, this is so cute. For our sweet treats, we've got a 70% Nama chocolate cake, a lemon chestnut Mont Blanc, and a fruit skewer topped with contro jelly and a very interesting dinosaur shaped donut like structure. Can we name them? I feel like I can't name him because then I will want to eat him. <laughs> now, Yana, you may be Frankie. See? Frankie well, you don't. The <laughs> now I'm going to feel really bad. I think it's just like waffle material. So, should I eat his bud? Yeah. Sorry, Frankie. It's just like one big bread. Yeah, kind of like donut-y bread. It's sweet bread. Mm. Dipping the donuts in coffee. It's like going back to Thailand. Oh. I've even got gold leaf this time. Mm. Oh my God. That's delicious. And this one is Grand Hyatt's branded. But I have not. <laughs> I inhaled some cocoa powder. Are you okay? It's you gone, all, gone all over me. <laughs> <laughs> you made me really scared to try it, but I might just try it with a fork and not shove it all in at once. <laughs> we are soaking up all of the liquids in my mouth. Isn't it cool that we're having afternoon tea right next to the type there on the one? This is a very, very cool experience. It's like an elevated version of a hop on, hop off, except that we don't get off and they give you delicious food on the way.